Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. All right. Another episode of News and Prophecy, linking the things that are happening worldwide, okay, to biblical prophecy so that you, as the believer, all right, can know and understand the times that you're in, all right? As the scriptures say, a wise man's mind understandeth and discerning, all right, the times and judgments, all right? And um, we also know in the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, the scriptures say there's a time for every, all right, um, action under the sun. It's a time for love, a time for hate, a time for war, a time for peace, time to build, a time to throw down. Okay. And uh, we're living in the times of war. All right. We're living in the times of uh, where this Edomite is getting ready to show great hatred. Okay. And the conspiracy theorists, or 20 and 0 over the last two years, undefeated. All right, so th th those people who you all call crazy, even in Israel, that term was thrown around. Now, that term, you know, was uh, started, I believe, going back to uh, Bush, you know, when they started to get outed on a few things. You know, they just used their media to say, let's downplay all of these crazy C theories, we'll call them C theories, okay? And when you look up that word, all right, conspiracy or to conspire, what it really means is that two or more people are planning to do evil, okay? And anytime anything came out on what these people were trying to do and what their true plans were, all right, it, it, it was easily just shot down as you're a, a C theorist. And the people don't even know the meaning of the word. All right. I remember asking about four people what the word meant when they used it and they didn't know. Showing you, you people are walking around here dwelling without care and you have no idea what's getting ready to go down. As life, as you know it, is getting ready to change because this devil only has a short time. And they're being more transparent, okay, with their plan, okay? They have to. They have to speak it into existence, just like we're speaking the kingdom of heaven into existence. With well, these witches and warlocks on the left hand side, which some of them they put before you in the form of presidents, you know, governors, actors, entertainers, movie writers, all of them work for the left hand. All right. To help establish Satan's kingdom on earth. And these are the children of Satan. We've been telling you. OK, and that term NWO has been downplayed. If You say it in the video, what YouTube does now is they give you a link to click on so they can give you a, a, a history or a narrative. And no one wants to hear the narrative of Esau Edom anymore. Even his own kind are turning against him. As you can see, the title of the video, News and Prophecy, Thou Art Greatly Despised, because what we're going to show you <clears throat> is that worldwide people are, are coming up against this man. OK, worldwide, people are figuring them out. So you're going to see more and more sites start to ban particular kinds of speech. I was just looking at this article before we get that. We ain't got to really go into it, but Vimeo, all right, which is a video sharing platform, OK, bans fake news that creates serious risk. Of mental harm so this is going to be a narrative going forward as people are starting to see that all of these theories have been true all right and what what nigga in his right mind shouldn't believe in c theories Your, the, the, ever since you've been over here all of the tribes have been there's been conspiracies against you but you have a guy like general yohanna all right uh nathaniel uh bishop nathaniel of IUIC, General Yohanna of ISUPK, Captain Tazariak of ISUPK, what do they say? Why y'all in all into them, them, them C theories? Showing you a lot of these men have been compromised. And we're not going to stop saying it. 
All right. So the, the best thing for y'all to do is to repent and say we were wrong. The MOTB is not an embargo. You can't prove that. That's not speaking right now. The MOTB is not Christianity. That's not speaking right now. We see the digital uh, 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 system being implemented. Right. We see it. We see the, the, the everything that has been said, starting with the apostles and elders <laughs> for years. We're seeing those things come to pass, man. And they only have a short time, man. OK, that's why they're getting ready to move with great. All right. Raft. All right. As we always showed you. And talked about speaking of Babylon, a great America, which is the revival of the ancient Roman Empire, along with the NATO and the EU. OK, which forms a beast system, which they're even divided. But we'll get into that. Verse uh, 11 in Revelation 13 says, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. All right. So he comes with these two political parties in the form of a lamb as if he's there to help you. And that's how Biden came speaking peaceable words, all of these promises. And immediately he started to do the bidding of the elite. All right. To 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 get that NWO set up. OK, he didn't even wait. He didn't waste no time. OK, he started to sign all sort of weirdo, nasty propaganda into uh, into existence. OK, setting up Satan's kingdom on Earth, man. Att coming after the children, telling eight year olds it's OK for them to defy their parents, uh, uh, you know, uh, parental guidance and go behind their backs and do what the hell they want to do. Now these schools have free range to just freak your children out. All of that's under Obama, Biden. OK, because what you're seeing is nothing but Obama's agenda being forwarded again, which that could be Nimrod. <laughs> All right. Now. He has two horns like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon. Now, we always go into this word dragon to show you what it goes back to. And it goes back to Draco. OK, and someone can post on the comment board for those who may not have saw it, because I'm not going to look it up. All right. What draconian goes back to? It goes back to a harsh ruler in Athens, Greece. Which, ironically, that's where democracy also started, because democracy lead to tyranny. It always starts off as if it's for the people. And when, when you look, when you start to look around, you, your, your, your rights are being uh, stolen from you. But anyway, Draco, OK, uh, a dragon, a great serpent, a name for Satan. All right. And when you go into Draco in history, as one of the brothers, Lord willing, will post in the comment board. He was known for what? His harsh methods, all right, of rule. See, so he came like a lamb. Now he's speaking as a dragon. See? And this is just one of many things that are getting ready to be heightened. All right? Domestic terrorism. Okay? Fake news. All of these things are getting ready to be heightened. Okay? serious risk of material harm okay because they're, they've been outed they've been shown to be the devil them demons ain't answering them like they used to so they're becoming more transparent all right and open about who they are and what they're trying to do so for years the nwo has been downplayed oh you just a you're just one of those crazy truthers. You're just one of those, ah, uh, whatever, ah, uh, you listen, you're watching too much YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Now, this dude is standing before you saying it. You know, we are at an inflection point, I believe, in the world economy. Not just the world economy, in the world. It occurs every three or four generations. As every three or four generations. And what, what have we been saying that happens every three or four generations? All right. <laughs> The uh, the uh, the uh, generations of the past are reborn into the earth. <laughs> All right. And what they're trying to do and establish is for generations on down the line. Because they know and understand that you're born back into your legacy. 
So you, in, th in this generation, the prophets have been raised up, which marks the end of Esau's world. Anyway, let's keep listening. One of, them, as the, uh, one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And uh, since then, we established a liberal world order, and that hadn't happened in a long while. A lot of people died, but nowhere near the chaos. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's going to be a new world order out there, and we've got to lead it. We've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. You heard it. You heard it out of his mouth. Right? You heard it out of his mouth, man. He's getting ready to try to fill his belly. Okay? So you're getting ready to see drastic measures. All right? And when you go, <laughs> when you go, if you even just look it up, let's check this out real quick. When you just go to the search, you search in Biden. What does it say? Joe Biden's New World Order comment jumped on by sea theorists. There you go. See that? And you still going to have stupid people that don't think nothing of this. See, they are already on it. Because you are caught, baby. As we went into yesterday, thou are caught. As a matter of fact, let's get that. You are caught, baby. <laughs> uh, the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter in the 24th verse, it says, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken. And America is in a trick bag. Esau, Edom is in a trick bag. The elites are in a trick bag. All right? Oh, Babylon, but Babylon the Great, all right, is 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 going to be the focal point of the judgment. All right, before your captivity, it says, and thou was not aware, and thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. How has he been caught through the prophets waking up? The posh to catch. <laughs> All right, because what, what's happening in the world right now? The Lord is making inquisition. Okay, to lay hold, seize, arrest, catch. All right, you got caught, and you're going to get caught ultimately by these missiles. But it starts with this word going out. You have been made bare. Okay, and for you people who have been mocking and laughing and scoffing, you better repent. Jeremiah 51 and 45, my people, go ye out of the midst of her. Repent. This doesn't mean get on the airplane and leave like Elder Rachal of GOCC did and left people in Egypt. All right. And deliver you every man his soul. You deliver your soul by repenting. Touch no unclean thing. All right, separating from this world, man. Now, we still have to do what we have to do, but we, we have to understand that a lot of these comforts that we have are getting ready to change. And we're going to have to go through periods where we uh, exude extreme faith so that the Lord can work miracles for us. And it's going to be like that pretty much until we get up out of here. Okay, it says... Deliver every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord, lest your heart faint. And a lot of your hearts are going to faint when this starts to really happen because you never prepared yourself. You're not going to want to rap. You're not going to want to sit down and talk about this. How I met my boo and we met here and there and people looking at it. No, your heart is going to faint because you've invested everything into this world. You mocked, you played all of these games, you made the truth about you, you made the truth about your CD, you made the truth about everything else but what your how about Shmiao Shai was doing in the earth. You downplayed the rumors as, oh, the crazy sea theories. And ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land, for a rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall a rumor come. And violence in the land and ruler against ruler. This is where we're getting ready to, uh, all right, once these Americans start to really see, and you know, a lot of them are waking up, but ironically, it's mostly Edomites. 
Okay, the the these uh you know so called liberal these so called red blooded Americans they're mad, they're ready they they're ready to get down for their crown man. Jake is starting to figure some things out. Okay, but it, it, it re- repent and take heed now before these things happen and and and, and you faint because therefore behold the days come. All right, that I will do judgment unto the graven images of Babylon, the image of Baal, the Roman Catholic Church, all of the everything that they're coming with. The Lord is getting ready to judge it. And you have a lot of our people who put their trust in this system. You have Israelites that taught Israelites to put their trust in this system. General Yohanna. Now you want to take your big ass over to Sarnetta TV like nothing ever happened. And what's your infatuation with Sonetta TV? That dude supports, uh, he's, he's okay with, with moles. He's okay with the, the, the uh, alphabet gang. He, he, uh, he promoted the, uh, the juicy jab. So instead of you Israelites separating in the time where we know our power is getting ready to do judgment, you, you stupid niggas are still uh, 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 linking with it. And don't come running to us when, when shit gets bad, man. Okay, and her whole land shall be confounded. America's getting ready to be confounded. Take your mind and your trust out of Babylon. These people have never meant well for us. There's always been uh, 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 conspiracies for them to destroy you. And they, they have it all. They, they <laughs> all right, man. Let me calm down. And all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. <laughs> so look, man. All of that talk. Let's get Ezekiel 12. Hey, the Lord is getting ready to address, address pride in Israel because there's a lot of pride, man. Ezekiel 12 and 22, son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision fail it? That's all y'all talk about. He's like, da, 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 da. Y'all been saying that. When is it coming? It's June. Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But saying to them, the days are at hand in every in the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. All of that crap y'all talking, man. For I am Yahweh. I will speak in the word I shall speak shall come to pass. And it shall be no more prolonged for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it. All right. Save the Lord God. So the Lord is getting ready to perform everything that he spoke in times past, man, through the prophets. And in these times, he's speaking through the prophets again. And you dummies who ran around here and trusted. And we are at an inflection point, I believe. In the- hey, the Lord. <laughs> you, you dummies who trusted in this guy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, man. So, and Esau knows it, man. Esau knows that he's, he, he's, he's at a point of judgment. As the Lord said, he has given him bounds that he cannot pass. Okay, let's get that. Job 14 and 4. Who can bring an unclean... A clean thing out of an unclean, not one. You can't make something that's unclean clean. Okay. Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. See that? Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. That's why, as we always bring out. <clears throat> Revelation 12 and 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto death that's the elect okay therefore rejoice ye heavens okay and ye that dwell in them and our conversation is in the heaven the angels in heaven are cheering on because they they you know but we are the heavens as well the kingdom of heaven is in you okay 
Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth he have but a short time. The devil is come down unto you having great wrath. All right, and what does it say in Revelation, the uh, second chapter? In the 10th verse, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. This is Jacob's trouble. You still got people leaving comments. We've been in Jacob's trouble. We've been catching hell. Jacob's trouble is a specific event that will be right before we were delivered, man. Yeah, we've been catching hell. Can't you get it through your head? Jacob's trouble is a specific event where the Lord is going to lift up a standard. Just like we were in uh, Egypt 400 years catching uh, hell. We were there 30 years or, or around about before that. And we were in good graces. But for 400 years plus, we caught hell under the Egyptians. But once Moses started preaching, okay, and him and Aaron and, 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 and the plague started to hit and we were getting ready to be exodus up out of Egypt by the angel through the spirit of the most high God, Yahweh. What happened? They eventually came after us and then the great work was worked. The time where they came after us. OK, that was Jacob's trouble of that day. They're going to come after us, us in this time, man. Not only us who are preaching his word, but for all Israel for them to establish their NWO, they're going to try to get rid of as many of you Jakes as they can. That's Jacob's trouble, and it hasn't came yet. We're, we're, we're entering into it. But yeah, we've been catching hell. I get it. That was a result of our disobedience, the curses. Now, the Jacob's trouble is because we know who we are. And they have to hurry up and establish that NWO. So what are they going to do? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Is this talking about the spiritual demon Satan? Okay. Well, Satan has children. He whose coming is to do the bidding and working of Satan. That ye may be tried and that ye may have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Okay? And the beauty of it is that the elect have already overcome. It just has to, look, we already have the kingdom. We are, the kingdom is in us. It started with us getting this wisdom. Things just have to manifest and play out in the physical so where we can get beamed up. And those who are already up there in the chariot with the new bodies, all right, uh, are going to be cheering us up. And once we get caught up, we're all going to be together. So the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath because he is caught. Remember, he only had a little season. Revelation, the 20th chapter. After the thousand years, what did it say? He shall be loosed a little season. Okay? The scriptures say the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. You Edomites are getting ready to be stopped from the Renaissance until now is all you had. As we just read in Job, he has appointed your bounds that you cannot pass. And you're being outed on every level. At the end, it shall speak. Prophecy is speaking, man. Okay, all around the world, okay, everything that you see happening is tied to biblical prophecy, man. And the prophet should be prophesying. Okay, and he feels it. He knows. Okay? Satan has been loosed out of his prison, start with the Renaissance, and he's went out into the four corners of the earth and destroyed everybody. Now everybody's cursing him out, and it's going to lead to Gog and Magog, who was Russia, and the different nations that are gathered unto them to, to, to lead a campaign against this bitch and whore named Babylon the Great in the Holy Scriptures, man. So... <laughs> This is what you're getting ready to see them come with these draconian measures. Okay? Over in Canada, they shutting down people's bank account. All right? This guy was able to shut down your social life. This guy's telling you uh, 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 to get electric cars. So they'll be able to have all control over everywhere you go. Be able to shut your car down if they don't uh, 
think you're uh, you should travel. This guy shut down farmlands worldwide, bought up pretty much all of the farmland in America. This guy uh, uh, is, is shutting down social media, particular speech. You can't say particular things, which is all BS. And they're all a bunch of freaks, weirdos and losers. OK, with our powers combined, and this is the guy, uh, uh, Claus Schwab, you will owe. <laughs> see that that wording? You can't really say that too much now. You, 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 <laughs> you won't have shit and you'll be smiling. And that's the end all be all. And you'll cry for their solution. And we know, according to uh, what John the Revelator saw, what their solution is. OK, it's for you to enter into that NWO. You're going to have to take an oath. Unto Satan. OK, as a matter of fact. Go to the old two through page, which I still can't load, but uh most people forget the United Nations Religious Charter by David Spangler in 1978 said no one will enter into the New World Order, Global Reset, without a Luciferic initiation and without a pledge of allegiance to Lucifer. Now ask yourself, what is that pledge you're going to have to take? Hmm? So we're going to get into uh, some news as we, as we were going into. This man is greatly despised, man. Okay, let's, let's read this as, as well. Job 21 and 17. How oft is the candle of the wicked put out and how oft cometh the destruction upon them? God distributed, distributed sorrow in his anger. All right. And these devils are definitely feeling the heat. Okay. They're worried. They're wearied in the multitude of their counsels. Okay. They are as stubble before the wind and as chaff. All right. Uh, that the storm carried away. And we know. Who's going to be stubble according to the Holy Scriptures? All we got to do is type it in so we can link it in the, in, in the spirit. Okay? Obadiah 1 verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for a stubble. All right? And they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Well, Yahweh have spoken it, and, and the elite know that they're of the house of Esau. So they're trying to forge their birthright into the into the earth to act as if it belongs to them, as if they, they're the chosen. No, they know what it is. Also, Isaiah 47 and 14, the daughter of Babylon, which is ran by Esau. They shall be as a stubble. A fire shall burn them, and they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at nor fire to sit before it so the stubble that we're reading about <laughs> is coming to you edomites it's going to start with babylon the great okay and then once we're delivered out of here we'll be crowned on the chariots eventually we're going to come down all right however long we're up there and a the brother left a question you know how, how long do you think we're going to be up on the chariot you know once we're delivered and crowned that is a great question I think about it a lot, but the scriptures don't give us that answer. So the, 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 the best bet is to just we'll wait and see. But I imagine in earthly time, it won't be short, you know, because this, the atmosphere is going to be all destroyed, man. But the elite are going to be in those bunkers and the Lord is going to protect them. <laughs> all right. And um, then we're going to come down. In Revelation 13, 9 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right. That, that's what we're patiently waiting for. And for a period of a thousand years, you, hey, and after that, you're going to be stubble as a nation. Done. And there's no way around it. As a matter of fact. Check this out. Dear white people, that thing that we're feeling in our neck right now, that inability to breathe 
or swallow. And everywhere we turn, we're slapped in the face with how horrible we are. That's called the tides of motherfucking change. Don't run from it, because it's going to find you. No matter what crevice you go and hide in, no matter what bed of a person of color you go and try to pretend that you're in love with, or how many children that are non-white you spew out of your vagina, it's coming for you. I firmly and 100% am ready to embrace it. You, you sure about that? And the seed of the father is going to be all right, what the father is. You may lay with a so-called black woman. That's why the scriptures say the children uh, 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 that you have of them shall never enter into the congregation of the Lord. But anyway, you Edomites are through, man. As the, the, the scriptures posted on this video, Jeremiah 49 and 10, but I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, his NWO, his, his pedal rings, what he's really all about. All right? It's all been, hold on. I've been waiting for this. Patiently waiting. What's happening right now, white people, is that we're choking on our own supremacy, our own fragility, and our own fucking privilege. Fucking sucks, doesn't it? Dear white people. So there you have it. They, they, they know. A lot of them know. A lot of them are acknowledging it. You even got other ones saying, uh, the, the, the calling the elite Edomites. <laughs> you got the, uh, you know, regular everyday American, you know, um, cursing out the bankers, you know. But as it says in the... Uh, Let's get this in the scriptures. All of you are going to be punished. Okay. All of you are going to be punished, man. In uh, Egypt, the elite and the common of that uh, that uh, society were uh, punished, man. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 11. The master and the servant were punished after one manner and like as the king so suffered the common person so all of you Edomites are going down however for prophecy's sake the Lord is going to use particular of you to curse each other out to curse out your elite to expose things okay and that goes into the prophecy of the Egyptian against the Egyptian all right but you Edomites are feeling it in these latter days okay because that's prophecy. Okay. Jeremiah 49 and 10 says what? But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. All right. So when you go down, it talks about how Basra is going to become a desolation. That's speaking of America in code. Okay. But when you when you jump down here, Jeremiah 49 and 15, it says, for lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Thy terribleness have deceived thee and the pride of thine heart, O that dwelleth in the cleft of the rocks. OK, because he's a caveman. All right. He dwelt in Mount Seir. Now, before he inhabited Mount Seir, you had a group of uh, Hamites, I believe. All right. In that uh, region. And they were named the Horites. When you look up the Horites, it means cave dweller. <laughs> all right. So Esau. All right. Uh, who, you know, possessed Seir. He's the cave dweller. All right. And that 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 has followed him until this day. All right. With the word Caucasian. You know, but because of his uh, blessing, you know, that he, he's become proud, man. You see. Now, it says that holdest the height of the hill, all right, because the blessing is in his hand. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from hence, saith the Lord. And the eagle is the highest flying bird, you see. And the Edomite, using his pseudoscience, has, you know, and his blessing, of course, 
which his blessing is to deceive, but he has the fatness of the earth. He's made himself the 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 at the top of you know the human race chart, you know, the highest IQ. All right? But the end result is that Edom is going to be a desolation. And that's synonymous with Babylon the Great. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. Speaking of what's coming to Babylon the Great, it's all written in code. Now, this scripture said that he would be despised among men. So what we're going to do is just play a uh, few clips. All right. I believe this is Elam. All right. Let's listen to how he feels about Babylon the Great, the West. The Edomite, like the Edomite is getting cursed out. All right. And this all fulfills prophecy. Today, Honorable Debbie Speaker, is this. When the people in Palestine are losing their lives, being raped and murdered, there's no cry from anybody, no passion. When the same thing happens in Syria, we hear nothing. When the same thing happens in Libya, we hear nothing. When the same thing happens in Iraq, we hear nothing. When the Ukrainians are violating the rights of other Ukrainians, particularly in the Donbass region, there's nobody crying for those people. What is the reason for that? What about India? Why is there nobody in this country raising the concerns of the Indian minorities, of the Christians and the Muslims whose rights are being violated by the Indian government? Nobody in this country is saying anything about it. Now, NATO went on and bombed many of the Russian allies. Russia could do absolutely nothing about it and stayed out of it. What did Russia stay? Demilitarization, stay away from my Russian borders. If you notice what has been happening since 1990, they are coming closer and closer and closer to the Russian border until they will make Russia so weak that Russia will have no other option but to give in to them. That is what it is all about. But who is the root cause of this whole problem? Who's the root cause of this whole problem? Listen to him. It is clearly the West and the United States of America that is the root cause of all the mayhem and chaos and destruction all over the world. Yes, Let's stop. All over the world. They said all over the world. All right. That's, that's why he's called <laughs> How's the Hammer. Matter of fact. <clears throat> All right, verse 23. <laughs> how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? And Babylon is the hammer. And that's what, what, what uh, this Elamite is pretty much, you know, expressing. Really, it's, it's all the West fault. It's Babylon the Great's fault. And this is off the new two through page. Let's keep listening. Talk about the biological laboratory which is funded by the Pentagon in Ukraine. Where is it coming from? Why are they getting involved in those? Let's talk, let's talk about the number of people that were massacred by the Ukrainians oh, yeah. who have been detained without uh, trial. Nobody has said anything about that as well. Okay? Let's talk about the shelling of the hospitals and the schools and the massacre and the mass grave that were found in Ukraine. Nobody says anything about that. Now, what is Russia asking for? Russia is saying, stay away from my borders and stay away from me. All you have been doing, and remember, Ukraine is being used as a fool by the United States and the West, and they're falling into the trap like many other countries have fallen in the trap previously, and that's what it is all about. Currently, there is a threat to the Russian Republic as a result of them coming closer to the Russian border, the eastern side. All Russia is saying, stay away. Do not collude with the West, because the West, we all know, have a hidden agenda. What is the agenda to want to wipe Russia off the map as well? That is what it is all about. Now we come here and we look at one side of the story. We don't want to give an objective view. Yes, indeed, it is not good to take sides. I agree with whoever said that. But that is what we are doing here. We are forgetting about those people whose rights are being violated by the Ukrainians themselves. Why does the Ukrainians do not? 
<laughs> you see that now this is prophecy as well because when you get Ezekiel the 38th chapter because America is trying to put sanctions on India all right not to deal with Russia and Elam all right is you know who who are who's the the India they're like man how, why in the hell will we cut our ties with Russia when you the problem and you see a lot of Elamites, the news stations, guys like him cursing America out. All right now, one of the main nations that's going to be aligned with Russia in the latter days, as you see here, says Persia. Let's look up Persia, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya. OK, Persia, when you look up Persia. OK. Parash. Persia, Persian, splendid, all right, pure. It says, and it's a lot of uh, beautiful land over there, all right? A lot of uh, farming goes on over there. It says, um, agriculture. It says, the empire of Persia, a compassed in the territory of India on the east of Egypt, all right, and it keeps going, Western Asia, yada, 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 Persian Gulf. Persia was properly bounded on the west by Suzyana or Elam. So ultimately, these are the Elamites, all right, Iranians, okay, uh, 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 East Indians. Okay, these are, this is one of the countries that, that are going to be aligned with Russia to come against Babylon, okay? And they're anteing up, all right? They're, 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 they're getting there, all right? Russia is being a guard unto them as well, all right? And America is trying, you know, has put sanctions on them, all right? But they don't give a damn. They're like, man, to hell with the West. And that was the guy's sentiment in this video, Ethiopia, Libya, all of them with uh, shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands. Now, these are the countries that are going to be aligned with Babylon, it says, and with many people. Okay, so let's go to this uh, South African. Uh, this South African uh, activist, Julius Malima. We're going to listen to him and his sentiment towards America. Showing you that prophecy is being fulfilled, man. I mean, uh, let's go to Habakkuk real quick. Okay. Habakkuk 2 and 6. I start at 5. Yea, also because he is a proud, he transgressed by wine. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. He has his nose in everybody's business, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. And America is used as the catalyst to go do all of these things, man, spread wine. Okay, like 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 the Elamite said, America has a hidden agenda. And here it is, all of you stupid ass Americans are sitting up here crying for Ukraine. And the only reason there's a big deal being made is because of how they look. Cause people have been raped, robbed, and murdered even in in in, in the Babylon themselves, and people don't give a damn. And America goes around the planet Earth destroying, all right, uh, bombing children, collateral damage. They don't give a damn. Rape, robbing, murder, false flags, corrupting governments, rooting out foundations. And now they want that NWO, which is what? Him gather it unto himself all nations, man. Okay? And what's going on in Ukraine now? All of a sudden, it's become digital. They're putting a lot of propaganda out there. All right, but what was the end result of all of that propaganda? Now it's digital. Australia. Okay, what's going on in Australia now? Okay, the places like Ukraine and Australia are just, uh, you know, little small areas that are a little, a little bit easier to control where they're going to start to set up this NWO and eventually... Is going to move to these bigger countries. 
All right, the end of ATMs in Australia. Okay, thousands of cash machines removed as banks go digital. ATMs across ATM and bank branches across Australia are continuing to close at a rapid rate. Switch by customers to digital banking, seeing big four banks switch their focus. Okay, Anne's head of distribution, Kath Bray, said changes were a clear sign of the times. And what times are we in? <laughs> huh? What times are we in? Okay. W what do you think this is all about? World War Three. Biden sending thousands of Marines to Australia in anticipation of conflict with China. <laughs> so, look, man, it's going down, man. But anyway, let's let's listen. Let's keep reading here. It says Habakkuk 2 and 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increase it that which is not his. How long and to him that laid in himself with thick clay. So there's a parable being taken up against Esau. Okay? Shall not they rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and shall awake, and shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them? All right? These nations along with Russia are going to take you down, man. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land, and of the city, and all that dwell therein. Now, we know what happened in South Africa with apartheid, where you Edomites went over there and, and, and ultimately did wickedness, man, Pat, using your, your unrighteous decrees to gather up everything unto yourself, all right, and, and cut out the people that were, were uh, the original inhabitants of that land. You did that all over the earth. Hell, China's doing that in Africa now. Okay? neo-colonization but when you colonized all right the british america all right pretty much you 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 undermined these people so let's listen to this uh this uh you know south african politician all right and uh leader so to speak russia imposed the sanctions on apartheid South Africa, where you are violating the rights of black people. The same Russia. But when the people were shot here in Sharpville, America never imposed the sanctions on apartheid. America worked with apartheid. America supported apartheid. Yep. America never punished apartheid for violating the rights of black people. Today, we must choose the side of NATO and America against Russia, which was with us during the difficult times. So he's basically like, now we're supposed to take America and NATO's side. When they didn't uh, 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 do what Russia did, Russia put sanctions on apartheid. All right? These NATO countries in America were down with it. They helped. All right? And there's a lot of jakes in South Africa. All right? That's that's the scene <laughs> right now. They vibing over there, man. But here it is. This this activist, okay, is cursing out the West. Let's listen to him some more. He, he goes in. But to Babulaiwa, every day Babulaya, ke America, ko Afghanistan, ko Iran, ko Iraq, ko Syria, even in Palestine today, their rights are violated by Israel. Palestinians are being killed on daily basis. Do we never had a call that we must sanction Israel? You hear that? Now he, he he getting on the small hats. Here it is. They've been bombing those Palestinians for years, taking the land. Have you ever heard any of the people in the West or a big cry for those uh, uh, Palestinians? Hell no. Nobody gives a damn. Let's keep going. 
But today, because a white man is being killed in UK, all of us who are being called, hey, sanction Russia, denounce Russia. We will never denounce Russia. He said, now we're being called to denounce Russia. We ain't going to denounce Russia. This is prophecy, man. <laughs> this is prophecy, man. Because Russia was with us during difficult times. Why wanna AK-47 that we used to liberate ourselves? It was from Russia. It was given to us by the Russians to come here and kill the poor who are killing our people. So Russia was a guard unto this nation, all right, uh, 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 in South Africa. Okay, when you when we get Ezekiel thirty eight, that's exactly see what is said that Russia would do for these different countries that would be joined unto them. They militarize them. See, <laughs> verse uh, seven, Ezekiel thirty eight seven. Be thou prepared and prepare thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. And be thou a guard unto them. And how have they been a guard? Okay, uh, uh, training up their militaries, making alliances with these different countries and setting up their military bases in these different countries. Okay, and eventually, you know, as you read on, this is going to be an, a, an attack on Israel as well. Okay, the small hats, the 1948ers are going to, hey, they're, they're going to get bombed and attacked too according to prophecy. And we know that's going to draw the, the America out. The scriptures say the least of the flock, Amalek, is going to draw everybody else out. So big things are coming, man. Let's keep listening to this brother, because he's going in. He could be a Hamite, he could be a Jake. Either way it goes, it's fulfilling prophecy. Okay? And Russia is being a guard. He just said Russia gave them ammo all right, to take down the people who were in their country doing wickedness. Let's go. With an automatic rifle called AK-47, Russians did not only support us through lip service, they equipped us with weapons. Russia gave us money to fight apartheid. Russia took our leaders Many of the people who are leading South Africa today, like Lindy Wesulu, like Tony Ngeni, they went to school in Russia. Why did Russia take them to school? It was preparing them. Russia was believing that one day South Africa will have a black government and a black president. Therefore, we need to prepare black people today for the future russia never isolated us hmm. today we are here to say to nato we are here to say to america we are not with you we are here to say to nato and we're here to say to america we ain't with you hear that Years ago, these countries wouldn't have been saying this type of stuff. But it, 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 thou art greatly despised. We are with Russia. And today, we want to say to Russia, thank you for being there when it was not fashionable to be there. And do not doubt our support, Russia. Google, please go. Teach them a lesson. We need a new world order. We are tired of being dictated to by America. America wants to turn the whole world into an American village. We are not an American village. We are independent from America. And Russia is going to lead that way to demonstrate to the whole world that we don't care about America. Russia is going to be the figurehead used to come up against America. 
We are here and promote them to say to America, we are showing you a metal finger today. <laughs> you are on your own and we are not scared of you. We will liberate the whole world through the leadership of Russia. So comrades, never be confused. There are Nazis there in Ukraine who are pushing an agenda that seeks to undermine democracy. Why is NATO expanding its military presence even when it's told to not do what you are doing? Because when they extend their military presence, they threaten the security of Russia. Today, but nobody wants to talk about that. Now, he's caught up in the, 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 the juice as well. All right, and overall, look, you know, America's going to be destroyed. Russia's going to be, and when it's all said and done, you know, the, 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 the World War III is going to happen, you know, but America's going to be destroyed. But the next kingdom, okay, is the throne of David under Yahweh Shai, man. But as you can clearly see, all right, and we don't have to even read no more. I mean, listen no more. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> and you should, if you still call yourself black, you through. All right, but here it is, you you American, you Jakes over here in America, are are are, are a big part of this whole you know uh, stand with Ukraine thing. Meanwhile, you've been undermined the whole time you've been over here. Your forefathers, your foremothers, and you. So you Jakes over here in the West are through, man. Over there in South Africa, they like to hell with some Babylon the Great. And they're not even over here, but they know the, what, what America has done to them and, and worldwide. Let's get the book of Obadiah, okay? The book of Obadiah. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and 1. The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, okay? And an ambassador is sent among the heathen, okay? And that's the prophets going out, man. Because when the prophets would go out and awaken, that would mark Esau's, you know, the beginning of his downfall, man. And it's leading to what? These heathen saying what? Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Okay? Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Now this word small, we just read the same thing in Jeremiah. Okay? But the word small is katan. Okay? Katan, young, small, insignificant, unimportant. Okay, so you, the, the West is now looked down upon, whereas in times past, the West, Esau period, were looked up at, at like these great people. Okay, and you're divided. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. All right? Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, who saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? This is Lucifer. Okay? The bearer of the light. He thinks he's the bearer of the light. Well, he's the bearer of darkness, man. If these came unto thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would not they leave some grapes? All right, or well, the Lord ain't going to leave you Edomites with nothing. You see, at least a thief, you know, he ain't going to take the doorknob. You know, he ain't going to take the VCR tapes, you know, the refrigerator. He going to get, with, you know, the, the goods, you know, and, and go get the hell up out of there. But when the Lord comes up against you Edomites, everything is going to be decimated. Okay, verse 6, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. So all of these nations that were aligned with you, that used to, you know, whenever you would, you know, uh, call, they would, you know, be, you know, come, you know, they, they, they bow to you. Well, now they're, they're, they're against you, man. And they're going to be used as tools in this whole thing, okay, to ultimately lead to your desolation, man. As a matter of fact, check this out. We talk about the beast uh, hating a whore, okay? 
France and Germany shamed for selling deadly weapons to Putin the spies embargo. See, the EU nations, as the scriptures say that the beast shall hate the whore, you have EU nations, okay, that are selling deadly weapons to Putin, making money with Russia against, all right, the, uh, the uh, American West wishes, man. Okay? It says, the embargo against, I guess the embargo is the MOTB, right? And it's crazy, Johanna says the MOTB is an embargo. When an embargo cuts you off from trading and selling, the MOTB helps you to buy and sell. Anyway, the embargo against Moscow was introduced with Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014, but France, Germany, and Italy, all uh, uh, EU, NATO, all right, continued to provide deadly weapons and vehicles to the communist country. Okay? <laughs> and we don't have to read too much on that, but here it is. We're seeing the division. All right? Because every time these, 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 these nations get together and they have a meeting, all right, America is telling these different EU, NATO countries, no, don't deal with Russia, man. And they're doing it against the wishes of Babylon. So Babylon is being isolated. Okay, uh, here's another one, all right. Saudi Arabia, an ally to Babylon the Great, considers accepting yuan instead of dollars for Chinese oil sales. Okay, so th this, this is clearly this prophecy we just read. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread, the debt, okay, that debt have laid a wound under thee and there is none understanding in them. Shall I not in that day, said Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and the understanding out of the Mount of Esau? So the Lord has Babylon in a reprobate spirit, okay? You know, they're, they're being used as the you know catalyst of this NWO, okay? The small hats are behind it all, but ultimately the Lord is setting everything up, all right, for an attack on the West, okay? And this is what we've been talking about for years, all right? Because this man is at the end, okay? Let's Let's read it. EU has paid Russia $16 billion for fossil fuels since Ukraine war started. <laughs> so you think Russia is mad that America has uh, uh, ultimately cut off, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, oil and gas from Russia? No, they, they still getting paid. OK, and it's from EU countries. So pretty much the beast hating the whore is going to be aligned with Russia as well. Let's get that. Okay? The beast is the 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 the, the European Union and NATO. Revelation chapter 17 and 16 in the 10 horns which are the vassal states, the EU. It started as 10 but it expanded. Okay? which thou saw in, in a vassal state is a subordinate state. And see, in times past, Babylon, the great, the new Rome, you know, the, you know, whatever they said, these nations would do. Now we're living in a time where the, 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 the vassals, you know, the subordinate countries are that make the beast system are now saying, look, we got to get this whore out of here, man. They're messing up the game. So the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, Babylon, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God hath put it in their hearts to fulfill his will, and to agree to give their kingdom unto the beast, and to the words of the Lord should be fulfilled. All right, so the Lord put it in their minds to agree to give their kingdom unto the beast. They agreed, all right, to ultimately work for the benefit of America. But in these latter days, the words of the Lord are being fulfilled. And now they have an evil eye towards America and they're working with enemies of America like Russia. OK, 
Okay? <laughs> okay? U.S. says it's profoundly disappointed after Syria's Assad visit. And they're supposed to have Syria under these heavy sanctions. But even Syria is like to hell with America. We, we, we got to do what we got to do. Look what they say when you read down. Syria is urgently looking to reinstate relations with rich, with oil rich countries as the economy is crippled by Western sanctions. You see that? U.S. officials have previously expressed concern. All right. When, you know, so you can see all the way around the board. Countries are saying to hell with Babylon the Great, man. Let's get the book of uh, Job. 21 and 17 how oft is the candle of the wicked put out and how oft come at their de desolation and destruction upon them god distributed sorrows and his anger we're, we're we're in those times for as for they are as stubble before the wind and as chaff that the storm carried the way god led up his, his iniquity for his children he rewarded them and he shall know it so as the scriptures say God led up iniquity for his children. Okay, as the scriptures say in uh, Sirach. <laughs> and some of these Edomites have this mindset. But a lot of them are still proud. Like they've done no wrong. But a lot of them know, damn, we're we going to be visited for what our forefathers did. Sirach 41 in 17, the children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. Okay, that also goes to Isaiah 14 in 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. No more colonization, man. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name the remnant, the son, the nephew, said the Lord. So all of your seed bearing the men of your nation and, and the women eventually all going to be out of there. Okay? You you Edomites won't be able to spread any more seed, as the scriptures say in uh, Revelation or Psalms, the 21st chapter. So God led up his iniquity for his children. So the Lord has given you eat a mice, the fatness of the earth. Okay, but you're getting ready to pay for the iniquity that you're doing currently and the iniquity of your fathers. Going back to Cain even. You're going to get your reward, man. His eyes shall see his destruction and he shall drink of the wrath of the almighty. You're not going to get away. Okay. <laughs> for what pleasure hath he in his house after him? When the number of his months is cut off in the midst. So, hey, as we read earlier, the Lord has appointed your bounds that you're not going to be able to pass. So this is why they're moving with great raft. All right. In the fullness of his sufficiency. Hold up. Hold up. Job 20 and 22, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits and every hand of the wicked, the laborer shall come upon him. And he's being cursed out by the working class of his own kind. Jake raising up against him. You get, of course, us, the prophets. <laughs> oh, man. So. Elites suggest price controls, dystopian travel restrictions to manage soaring energy costs when they're the ones who are causing the energy soaring prices. So we're getting ready to see this Edomite. OK. Come with all manner of unrighteous decrees, prepare for it, and they're going to use false flags to bring it forth, man. OK. Isaiah 10 and 1, woe, woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. 
And, and, and it's coming here to the West, too. What did, what did your boy uh, 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 Biden just say? You know, hold up. It's not what I'm looking for. But uh, look, today, my administration issued renewed warnings that based on evolving intelligence, Russia may be planning a cyber attack against us. As I said, the magnitude of Russia's cyber capacity is fairly consequential, and it's coming. The federal government is doing its part to get ready. But under U.S. law, as you all remember, the private sector, all of you, largely decides the protections that is, you will or will not take. So they're telling you what's coming. Okay? If, if and when that happens, that will be used to forward more of what he wants. And he told you at the very beginning of this video, he told you what he wanted. Okay, he told you what they want because he's working for the elite, man. So I'm going to leave that there, man. I think I had a few more, but you know, the point was made. This is a good watch, too, right here. I'm almost finished with it. Glenn Beck, why farming and food supplies could be a major danger. And this is all being systematically done, man. But we can clearly see that the tides are turning. Everybody's cursing out the West. <laughs> I mean, I had a few more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't forget this. And a Russian artist recreates the Tower of Babel and burned it down. What do, what do you think this means in the spirit? Hmm? Man. Call hello, Yahweh Ba Shimi Awashai. Ba Shem Rahakwadash. And double honors as always to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect, man. Shalom. The land of Nimrod. Wow.